what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're going back to 2017 the darkest day in south african rugby history when the all blacks clapped us 57 no now you may ask g man why the hell are you going back to this well i'm a humble person and we need to remember where we came from and also appreciate how far we've come and also acknowledge the negativity that we threw at these um, gentlemen who got slaughtered back here in South Africa and got slaughtered around the world. And also to acknowledge us, who those who deserted this team, threw their kits in the briar fires, etc., etc., to realize that you don't give up on your team because comebacks can happen. Changes can happen, turnarounds can happen. That's an important message for us to remember even in life. We might seem like we're at the bottom, but the only way to move forward is by going up. And the Springboks went up, and two years later, after that dreadful day, Rashi Rasmus took over, became the new coach, and transformed us into the World Cup winners. But again, also it reminds us the respect and brilliance of what the All Blacks can do. So although they might not be current champions or number one in the world, we as the world need to remember that we cannot forget what they have done and the dominance that they've created in the past. And we need to show them respect for that, which is exactly what I'm doing. So let's go back in time to the darkest day. I don't know why. I'm going to probably say, why did I just do that? But let's relive this game. South Africa versus the All Blacks. Ish, let's do this. Front to our court there. Oh, right. Oh, cheapers would have flattened. Oh. And we can't blame the ref here, guys. It's Nigel Owens, the best ref in world rugby. Here we go. Aaron Smith. Beautiful chip. It's 16 or 17 minutes in, 10 0. Fuck it. Three, three minutes later. Watch this. Just pure class, pure genius. No chirping there. 17 0. 33 minutes in. Bodie Barrett, what a chip. Knock on green. Look at Scott Barrett. That is just class. It's class. 24 0. 36 minutes. Poor defense. This is a joke. Brad, you're to like through. Jeepers, man. 51 minutes, 30 no, 31 no. <laughs> Come on, defend South Africa. We just we just look nowhere. Good movement there from Sia Khaleesi in the defense. Sia, get on side. Solid defense from the spring box. Don't, don't get your hands in. Bro, your italic. Is it going again? Nope. Balls come out. Buddy Bird. Long pass. Melmus got up. Gets it. Ish. I guess Cody Taylor throws it into Reed. Bro, your italic. Off to Bird. Beautiful. Cody Taylor trying to go in for his own one. 36 and all. That's another try. 43 and all. God's truth. 73 minutes in. Oh, shit. Tickle him! Shocking defence. 50... No. 80 minutes in, the All Blacks just don't stop. They want to destroy us even more. (laughs) 
Ay, vay, ay, yo, man. Highest score ever that the All Blacks have done against South Africa is the biggest thrashing I think we've gotten ever. 57 0, no, not one point scored. But if we look back, <sighs> slight key, I mean, it was short highlights, but slight moments of a bit of defence. But I, I, I mean, slight moments, but defence was appalling. Tackling was appalling. We were missing out lines. There were spotting gaps. We were leaving players over. It was just shocking. And to think Alistair Pizzia was the coach then, and he was famous for defence, like with the Stormers. He was actually very good. You wouldn't say that in that game. But after that, that, that really set the table. And everyone wrote us off. I'll never forget the comments from a lot of you guys saying, G-Man, I want the old Springboks. G-Man. Springboks are useless. They're never going to be um, uh, back. Um, one guy always also said, we will, won't even make knockouts of the World Cup. We won't even get close to fourth place. I'll never forget it. And it was a rude comment too. And look how far we came. We really turned the tables around. Yes, we didn't play, beat the All Blacks in the Rugby World Cup, etc., etc. But we still did extremely well to get to where we were. Yes, it was an easy route. But it just shows there is turnarounds for all these teams. So that if your team or country is going through a tough time in sport, it can happen. And that's why I think Australia can do it. We'll see Ireland maybe come back to what they were in 2018. We've seen Wales really go from not great place to record win, winning streak. The All Blacks dominance. Um, England, look at them. Champions down at the bottom of the Six Nations in fifth place come back up um, World Cup finalist there's a lot of hope within the sport we just got to believe in them hope you enjoyed it something different um, and that's going to do it for two days well let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below thanks so much for watching stay safe and never give up cheers